Brexit talks on a trade deal between the UK and European Union could go down the wire, a former Europe minister has predicted, but a former special advisor on European affairs has warned the two sides are on a collision course for failure. Britain and the European Union are continuing talks in a desperate attempt to strike a post-Brexit trade deal before the end of the transition period on December 31. The UK officially left the bloc on January 31, with trade talks beginning in Brussels two months later, led by Boris Johnson's chief negotiator David Frost and Brussels counterpart Michel Barnier. Face-to-face -face talks were put on hold due to the coronavirus crisis sweeping through the continent, but resumed last month in Brussels, followed by further meetings in London at 10 Downing Street last week. But both sides have lamented the lack of progress made in negotiations to this point, continuing to insist significant differences remain between them. The UK and EU teams have attacked each other over demands made in a future trade deal, with elements such as fisheries, a level playing field and access from the City of London to EU financial markets acting as major stumbling blocks. Mr Johnson wants a deal completed over the coming weeks but Angela Merkel, whose country Germany took over presidency of the European Council on July 1 said talks could stretch into the autumn and has warned EU nations to prepare for a no-deal scenario. Dennis McShane, a former Europe minister in the UK, believes the two sides may have to wait until the last moment before any deal is agreed. The former British cabinet minister told the Parliament magazine, the only talks that matter consist of the private conversation going on between the left and right sides of Boris Johnson's head. Does he want to risk a major crisis of 50 km queues at Dover or Calais, the City of London being shut out of its most profitable markets, threats to data exchange on criminals and all thousand and one relations the UK has taken for granted for half a century as a functioning member of first the EEC now the EU. He added, how intense is the pressure from Tory MPs and elderly grassroots party activists who believe as an article of faith that any links with Europe other than on exclusively English terms are unacceptable. Michel Barnier is sending out all sorts of compromise signals on fisheries and the European Court of Justice not applying to UK domestic law. But so far there has been no equal reciprocity by Johnson.